Hello, and welcome bat. Welcome bat. To Resident Evil Zero. When we last left off, we had a bat time. So now we're going to use the bat lean hook to get out of the church area. This is this is the only joy I have left in the world. You know, we're actually going to have a very bat time if I have to use all my shotgun ammo on this part. Uh, maybe I should go back. No, we'll be fine. I was going to say, maybe we should go and get the, the handgun ammo, but you know. Or the bat gun ammo. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, what's- <gasps> A red herb? Wow! If only we could find the green herb to combine with the red herb. That would be great, wouldn't it? <gasps> this area is so pretty. I want to live here minus the zombies. Uh, thank you. We'll just press this switch. Do not touch but fire. <laughs> Don't touch but fire. What? Caution. Don't touch but fire. Oh, oh, sorry. Don't touch. Bat fire. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, oh, we love Resident Evil Zero. I think I think I said it best last episode or the episode before. I can't remember. I'm having fun. It's just a frustrated kind of fun. Wait, what did I even do? What is this? Oh, we can go through. Okay. Uh, okay. Quick confession. I don't really want to go down here without my stuff. Which is why we'll go get Rebecca to bring it to us. I think we're safe down here for a moment. Right? You know, it probably doesn't need to be said, but Resident Evil Zero looks amazing. <laughs> What's that? Grenade launcher. Ah, uh, I should probably go back and get that. I don't see anything wrong with bringing Rebecca and Billy down in the same area. I think though once we get to a safe zone we'll let Billy go ahead and just clear the way. The strategy I'm going to use, I think, is whoever is in the backup party I'm going to give the handgun to, and then we'll let uh, whoever's... That's if we're actually like bringing both of them with us at one time. But considering that Rebecca is injured and Billy is at full health, I want to just let one person take most of the burden. Of the burden. Nice detail! The elevator had to come back up. We didn't do that the first time, I can't remember. Whatever the case, it, at least they thought about it. Nice decoration on the, on the elevator walls as well. I mean, they probably don't need to actually use pre-rendered backgrounds anymore. And there are lots of disadvantages to using them. But I would love to see another game that was... Uh, ...created using a kind of similar methodology. Method. Leave the grappling hook. Transfer this.
you know you've been at university for too long when you say methodology instead of method in any circumstances Hello zombie who is going to come alive in just a couple of minutes. Marcus Diary 2. This page has been torn out. Well, that's anticlimactic. Trouble is unlikely, but I closed my babies up in a special capsule. But it won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in the forest. Ooh. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys could figure out how to make it. I'm pretty sure we can use a grappling hook here, right? But that means one person will have to be left behind. Hmm. What's over here? Oh! Well, that's nice. Um. I think we can bring Rebecca in here. We'll pick this up. I mean... Again, I'm very certain that zombie is going to come alive. Maybe in that case we should give her some ammunition. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. Right. Leave this. Grab this. Exchange here. Thank you. Rebecca grabs the ink ribbons. No. Grabs the ink ribbons. Rebecca stays here. Now Billy go- wait, let's have a look at what this thing is first. Ooh. Oh, I know what we do. Okay. This is my guess. We use the grappling hook to go up here but then Rebecca's left behind and then we send the grappling uh, hook down the chute hmm this area looks haunted I'll carry you. Uh, the main reason we're picking up these items isn't because we want them in our inventory currently. Oh, crud. Um, took the lab map, thanks. Okay, well that's a predicament. I kind of need the grappling hook. Should I go back and get it now? Yes. Thank you. Nice to meet you too! Hands off, Leechy! Oh, we're still fine. Oh, thank God. Ow. Stop it! Oh, uh, why? I'd rather be dead. Alrighty, new strategy. Oh, let's just read this sign just in case it says something. It does not say anything. 
Oh, we can. If you just look here, you can see there's rooms up above us. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so what do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to grab this ink ribbon. Next, we want to... Uh, we'll leave this. Oh wait, hang on. Exchange. Here. Um, leave this. Swap. Swap this. So the plan is... Um, grab the gasoline canister. Just in case we find some bottles. Hello! Hi! How are you? Okay, thanks Billy for this. So only one person I'm pretty sure can use the grappling hook. Which should be Billy. We grab the gasoline canister, drop it if we have to. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then immediately leave the room. The only problem is that if we have to go through this room again, then Rebecca's going to be, have to be the one that deals with the plague zombie, or whatever he is. But uh, there's a map. Ah, oh, who needs a map? I certainly don't. See, this is that room that we're looking at down there. No, what's this button do? Press the Billy. There's a button. Press it. Yes. Great! Good job, Billy! Billy ruins it for Rebecca once again. Oh good! More gasoline! If only we had some bottles! Wait, what's this? Shiny thing. Oh! <gasps> a bottle! Wow! You can't carry this now. We can leave this here, leave this here. Pick up the bottles. I could save. But I kind of don't want to. But then again, they're giving us a save point. Like, there's literally two save points right on top of each other. They're telling us, here, here's a free ink ribbon. Why don't you, you just treat yourself? Save the game. Sure. Don't mind if I do. I mean, I think... I think the decisions we made should be fine. So, well that looks important, but I don't think we can use it yet. Let me check the map. Oh no! The map's incomplete! I have no idea what this area looks like anymore. Can't go in. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got Molotovs. We'll drop the ink ribbons in here. We can go back into that room and hopefully kill the zombie with the Molotov. And we've just saved. So, I mean, it sounds like a good idea. Right?
Yeah, right. I like this idea. This is a good idea. Good job, me. Ow. Stop it. Stop it! This is a horrible idea. I thought it only took one Molotov. That's two Molotovs. Okay, I have another one. How much damage did I take? One of the capsules is glowing. Uh, oh look! A bottle. Okay, that's nice. Wait! I thought it said that there's nothing- Oh, there is. Okay. Okay. Billy, please. See the bottle? Pick up the bottle. Be the bottle! Be the bottle! Thank you. Why do we need this leech sand? Let's have a look. Okay. Well, that's disturbing. At least we didn't come in here for no reason. Okay, so, okay. What do we do now? I'm really curious as to what this leads. Operating room. So I think the operating room must be upstairs, so if we get Billy to go have a look into that. What horrible things are in this room? Let's find out. Okay, it's way too quiet. Quiet only means plagues. No, it's not fine. Bump in. Keep out. You can't tell me what to do. Leech growth records. February 3rd, 1978. Administered tea into four leeches. Their will to survive leads them to first to parasitism and predation. Then they breed and multiply. Such a single-minded biology makes them attractive candidates for bioweapon research. Afterwards, no major changes observed. Hooray! February 10th, 1978. Seven days since administration of tea. Rapid growth to double former size. Signs of transfer transformation emerging. Spawning successful. They double their number in one hour. But their ravenous appetite leads them to cannibalism. Hasten to increase food supply, but lost two. Hmm. There's red and blue. That's interesting. March 7th, 1978. Providing them with live feed but lost half when the live food fought back. However, the leeches are learning from experiences and are beginning to exhibit group attack behaviour. They are also ceasing cannibalism. Very good. Their evolution is exceeding expectations. April 27, 1978. The leeches no longer exhibit individual behaviour even when not feeding. They move as a collective. They consume everything. I offer with remarkable efficiency. April 3rd, 1978. 30th, sorry. An employee has stumbled onto my experiments. Can a human be a food source? How will the leeches respond? Find out next time. 
On June 3rd, 1978, a day worth of commemoration. Today they began to mimic me. Surely they recognise their father. Wonderful children. No one will take you away. This is written by a perfectly sane man. Uh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? What if I do this? No, oh, okay. What if I run into him? What? Ow. Well, it looks like that's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this part, and we'll be back shortly.